Today's video about an endangered animal known to some as eating ants. His way of protecting himself is to lock himself up, so no one can get him out. Follow us for more information about eating ants. Ground pangolin smut zetemenki, is one of four species of pangolin that can be found in Africa. It is the only pangolin in the south and east. The animal is named after the Dutch animal Conrad Jacob Temink. Pangolins are almost completely covered with scales, which make up about 20% of their body weight. Scales are made of keratin, the same substance that makes up human hair and nails. They give pangolins an appearance similar to pine artichokes. The underside of the pangolin is not covered with scales, but covered with scattered fur. When threatened, it usually rolls into a ball, thus protecting his weak stomach. Pangolins are 30 to 90 cm 1 to 3 ft, long excluding the tail and weigh 5 to 27 kg 10 to 60 lb. In all eight species, the tail length of an adult ranges from about 26 to 70 cm about 10 to 28 inches. Mature adults are light brown, olive, dark brown, while the young are pale brown or pink. Ground pangolins walk on their hind legs, sometimes using their front legs and tail for balance. Its limbs are predisposed to digging, and it has five fingers and three long, curved claws. They are designed to demolish termite nests and dig burrows, because these claws. Pangolins must balance on the outer edges of their front feet and clench in claws to prevent damage. Pangolins have long, broad tails and small conical heads with jaws that lack teeth. The stomach of a pangolin is muscular, with keratinized spines inside and containing small stones for crushing and grinding the prey. Similar to giblets, pangolins also have long, muscular tongues to reach for ants and termites. Their tongues are longer than their bodies, and the tongue is attached to the lower cavity, near the pelvis. And the last pair of ribs, which is able to retract and rest in the chest cavity. Pangolins do not have external ears, so they have poor hearing, as well as poor vision, although they have a strong sense of smell. African pangolin species are found in 15 African countries throughout southern, central, and eastern Africa. The ground pangolin is the only species found in southern and eastern Africa. It lives in temperate savannas at low altitudes. Little is known about pangolins, as they are difficult to study in the wild. Pangolins are solitary animals and only interact when mating. They dig and live in deep burrows made of semispherical chambers. These burrows are large enough for humans to crawl into and stand up. Despite their ability to dig their own burrow, the ground pangolin prefers to occupy the pits abandoned by the pigs. Or lie in thick vegetation, which is difficult to notice. Pangolins are nocturnal animals. They mark their territory by urine, secretions, and scattering of feces. When they are threatened, their defensive mechanism is to curl a ball with their scales outward. Whistling and puffing, attacking with their sharp tails. The scales on the tail are capable of causing serious wounds. Angolans are also capable of releasing harmful acid from glands near the anus, similar to a skunk. To ward off predators, the main predators of terrestrial pangolins are leopards, hyenas, and humans. Brown pangolin feeds only on ants and termites, and it has been observed that they enter entire underground nests. Certain types of termites without eating any of them preferring to find the species of their choice. The identification of suitable prey does not appear to depend on the size of the species alone, but it is also likely to rely on the chemical and mechanical defenses of each species even in arid environments. Land pangolins remain selective in their eating habits in relation to prey species, but it is also likely to rely on the chemical and mechanical defenses of each species even in arid environments. Land pangolins remain selective in their eating habits in relation to prey species. Lifespan of pangolins is unknown, but the most noticeable lifespan in captivity is 20 years, with the male being 10 to 50 percent heavier than the female. No specific mating season is known, but pangolins tend to mate during summer and fall. The gestation period is up to 139 days. Females of the African species usually give birth to only one offspring. At birth, Angolans have soft, pale scales that begin to harden by the second day. The young are usually about 6 inches, 15 centimeters, long and about 12 ounces, 340.19 grams, at birth. Their mothers breastfeed them for 3 to 4 months, but they start eating termites after only 1 month. Angolans reach sexual maturity at 2 years of age, at which point they leave their mothers and begin to live on their own.
terrestrial pangolin included in the Yukon Red List evaluators say, there is a previously inferred slash ongoing and future projected decline of 30 to 40 percent over a 27-year period. Nine years in the past, 18 years in the future, generation length estimated at nine years, mainly based on the continuous exploitation of traditional medicine and bushmeat around. Species range and evidence of increased transcontinental trade to Asia, all eight species of pangolin now in existence are threatened with extinction. Main threats to land pangolins are habitat loss and illegal trade, due to human farming of the land, pangolins face habitat fragmentation. The corresponding decrease in numbers, meanwhile, the illegal trade has a stronger impact, with pangolins reported to be most trafficked animal in the world. With elephants a close second, scales alone account for 20% of the black market for protected animal parts. It is boiled from the body and used in traditional medicines. Pangolin meat is sold as a delicacy in China and Vietnam, and blood is believed to be a healing tonic. Estimated number of pangolins are illegally traded each year is 10,000, while the actual figures are for a two-year period. They exceed 250,000, unknown how many remain in the wild. Pangolins are generally unknown to the public. Its endangered status has so far received much less publicity than in the case of the more well-known species. This is how we come to the end of today's video. We hope that the information it contains about the monkey-eating animal is useful. If you like the video, we hope that you support us with Blake and subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to receive all new.